りするようにしてもらえると思います。It's S58 here, and you just heard my plans for the recording, so now I have to kill you all. Probably. Yeah, no, you were talking quiet. Yeah, but the microphone probably is higher than the game audio. So, um, last time, do you, you want to help us out? Help us retell what happened last time, and by last time, I mean two minutes ago? What, what happened to Hana? Uh, ice cream spilled in the box? Yeah. And she cried? She almost cried in front of all the Normal Boots members, and we got fucked up. We also met John, Shane, and Peeps. PBG. I think you faced those. Peebles. And we basically cried ourselves to sleep while listening to my scribble shit in her notebook. I didn't even have time to poke my head out before Mai's body slammed into the edge of my mattress, bouncing me up. She jumped from almost halfway across the room. That's what I had to do. Morning! Ha! Huh, you can't hide from Mai! Sorry. I was breathless and I paused to calm my heart before speaking again. Are you worried about what happened yesterday? Who cares about it, Hana? I almost forgot about it myself. She must have seen my face. She brought an arm around my shoulder and pulled me closer to her. Mm -hmm. For real though, we're gonna go to class and no one's even gonna mention that you had a that you made a huge fool of yourself yesterday. What a jerk! Or, 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 or. You could have put that better. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You might have been a big scene, but oh, it wasn't your fault. It was Paul, <laughs> alright? You jump, you have to calculate your trajectory like I did just now. <laughs> you can learn from a lot from a master like you. Get dressed and cheer up. I could, I could bottle up your gloom and sell it to a, to a wizard. What if he used it for evil? Can't let that happen, Hana. Oh, like your smile was wide enough to bridge a gap between continents. <laughs> the, the beginning of tears picked the back of my eye, but this time they were for a different reason. I opened my closet and tried to avoid looking at the sad lump of clothing inside, slathered with dried up ice cream. I only had two uniforms, which cost my, my dad an entire month's salary. If I wasn't able to get the stain out of this uniform, what would I do? <laughs> Sighing, I took my second uniform out of tank, slipped it on as my way to Ready to go? I like the outfit. I guess so. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah! Good. I like the normal boots jackets, to be fair. And the hidden block. Yeah, I like all of them. Pedigree, you can be kept in your snuggie. He's the guy who does the slaughter, slaughter or salvage. Anyway, before shame. someone kills you, my fucking screen. I'm gonna kill you. I forgot that you actually have to tap the mouse pad to go on. I forgot someone those can. Just as my said said, no one paid any special attention to me. Well, there were a few odd looks here and there, but not nearly as bad as when I was in school. As the lecture went on, my anxiety, my anxiety for the most part faded. I took to staring out the window to avoid eye contact. You boys were out on the field playing soccer. Wait, was that PBG? I scooted closer trying to get a better look. Hana. As the sound of my name, at the sound of my name, I leaped to attention. If there's something more interesting outside than samurai death battles, oh please God. feel free to enlighten us. You came here to learn, not to contemplate the scenery. <laughs> yes, Miss Shizuka. I'm so sorry. She turned back to the chalkboard and continued her lecture as if nothing happened. A few desks in front of me, a guy sitting next to Brutal Moose turned around and gave me a flashy thumbs up. 
have videos and from video games. It does video games. I can tell that I made a face at him, I'm sure of what exactly he expected me to do. He turned then turned around and socked him on the head. He's cat, he's in Wait. The other guys mumbled something to him. Probably apologizing. Ian's eyes slid to me for a brief instant. Then he looked away. Were they looking at me because of what happened yesterday, or is there some other reason? Well, I mean, you can date them. They may be called normal, but it's It's also hidden block. I shook my head. There wasn't time for this. I had work to do if I wanted to keep my scholarship. After pages and pages of notes on Japan's history, it was nearly time for lunch. Okay, everyone's, everyone is almost free to go. Work tonight isn't so hard, so don't grow. You should work together to complete it if you have a hard time. Also, you may be aware that the Flower Festival is coming up in, in a week and a half. The news was met with a few cheers as everyone started to pack up. Since you have the day of the Flower Festival off, our first exam will be the day before. There were no cheers this time. <laughs> Romance is wonderful. Believe me, I know. But try not to let the festival distract you, okay? Well, she's saying that now, but I mean, after the festival, I'm gonna come back. <laughs> this is all. See you tomorrow. Hold on, let's check the recording. Is that chalk knife? Chalk. Chalk. Why is it sharp? This is weird. Chalk ass. Chalk. What the hell is going on? I don't know if you guys can see anything. Yeah. Miss Shizuka flashed a peace sign and winked as she walked out the door. A weird teacher. <laughs> Look, the lecture was so boring.
always waiting for a response, probably giving me a quick nod as, as if warning me not to mess this up. So I muttered up my best smile, hoping it wasn't somewhat uh -huh. It's okay, I'm, I'm fine. Anyway, I'm more happy to pay the drive than the They were saying, they were saying it's not the first time they've made people cry. Anyway, anyway, I'm not well, by physically injuring her, I guess. So this is just like the first time they've ever actually hurt someone and made them cry. Thank you, but I was just kind of scrubbing this thing. Then I can never afford things like dry cleaning, so I'm uh, surprised I'm going to hand washing things. <laughs> that thing's going to be more than just hot water and soap. Trust me. Uh, tell you what, I have a friend who's a natural kind stuff. I'll ask if I get the same job in the commute. Just meet me later. Bring your own okay? I'll try not to keep me this time. Hi. Hey. Without giving me some time to say yes. He nodded and he turned to leave. He spun quickly back around. I uh, Are you in the. Right, right? You guys have a table? The cafeteria is correct. Pretty far right now. You can sit with us if you want. Just for a Yes, yes, we'll go. Right, Hannah? Wait, 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 wait. A touch? Uh, I, uh. Lunch. Club? Maybe the yeah, other could become friends with them. And then no one would bother me again. And now that my hair and hair should be Yeah! I, yes, please. Alright! Alright, Sorry, just Thanks. Hold on. I need to straighten out this freaking red for a moment. Cap! We're killing you. I think this is the John Trump and Food Air mixed. Like mixture. Hey, you found her. You're Hana, right? I nodded, flushing as I took a seat at the edge of the table next to Paul Mai. Paul, uh, Mai forced herself between Jared and PBG. Her eyes were only a few sparkles away from, from forming huge hearts. Real subtle. Um... So, Hana, we saw that you were upset me. Please do not pick up. <laughs> So, Hana, we saw that you were upset, and we're all worried. Are you feeling better? Self-voicing. Mm -hmm. Self-voicing disabled. PBG looked at me, clearly concerned. My heart was beating hard against my chest, but I wasn't sure whether it was because I was nervous, or because the sad look on his face made me want to give him See? Girl approved. Give it a hug. Hey. Or maybe it was because I was about two inches away from Paul and my arms length away from the other guys. As I tried valiantly to open my mouth, whispers spread. I sped around the lunchroom. Self voicing. So mm -hmm. Self voicing disabled. Ah. Look at those girls over there. Who do they think they are? How can they get to sit there? I wish Sentai would not Sentai will that. never notice you! He knows for someone! Main characters get all the way. Trust me, I did it first. She called Hana a total main character. I like this game. Suddenly my thoughts turned dark. Could it be that getting close to these guys was setting myself as a target instead of getting protection? Thoughts spun in my head. I was suffocating. 
Baby G was still looking at me, even more worried than before. I'm... I'm fine. Thanks for your concern. Yeah? Please don't feel bad. It was my fault for getting Hello. in the way. We're trying to record! I'm sorry for causing such a scene. I should have controlled myself better. I hung my head. I wasn't sure how to act around these guys. So I defaulted to extremely poorly. My father would have been proud. Uh, Hana. Hey, Hana, don't apologize. It was Paul's fault. Wow. Right, Polly. Nick shoved Paul, who looked exasperated. Uh, I apologized as best as I could. Give me a break. It was a relief that PMG just wasn't staring at me anymore. Of course, no one was paying attention to me or my. was paying me or my any attention. Shane, however, was still shooting me quick, suspicious glances. It was almost like he didn't want me there, and I felt uncomfortable. Hey, Hana! Yeah, it's the confusion of Gerard. So, you know, he's lovely. Lovely like a little puppy. I thought that was John Tron. Yes, but he... <laughs> Big old fluffy beard. How do you like it so here so far, Hana? Good. How about you? Um... I mean... I like it here, thank you. And Gerard smiled at me and turned away and picked up my phone. You guys were all wrapped up in their own conversation. I was busy preventing hyperventilation from being so close to two. Uh. I can feel his body heat. <laughs> that was probably way up in the mic, I'm sorry, everyone. Oh dear. Hey. You're doing okay, huh? Oh, okay. A smiling touch turned to me. I know I can. I know we can be overwhelmed. Oh, You're fine, right? Yeah. I am. Um, thank you. Um. Thanks for recommending me that book, by the way. It's been really good. <laughs> Do you like it? That's great. I figured you would. <laughs> it's really funny, but the narrator's in huh. Yeah, he can be a bit rude. He pushed up his glasses, then grinned. Okay. Alright. You were pretty huh? quiet, but I knew there was more to you. I winced. Sorry, I can be a bit of a wallflower. Mm. No need to apologize. I'm sure we've all been wallflowers before. That reminds me. The Flower Festival. He turned to the group, addressing them all. As if on cue, they all, they all suddenly turned to pay attention. <laughs> like... Who are y'all taking this year? Right, the flower festival. Wishes you can mention it before. What's the flower festival? No one's explained it to me yet. Well, hmm, it's basically just a festival. Didn't you have those at your old school? I did have festivals at my old school, but they were basically just forty kids grouped in one room sharing snacks they brought from. Um, well, we had something kind of like them, but I stopped going. Really? Oh, why not? They're so fun! I didn't really want to answer. There was no way I could say, Well, my friends turned on me, so when I went, people pretended I didn't exist. But I was waiting for an answer, I never was like, I'm just... Not into that stuff, I guess. Oh well, maybe you'll like this one more. The Flower Festival happens all over Japan. And this time of year... Around this time of year. But it's a big deal at Higanbana. Higanbana. The town right... The town right next to Asago. It's apparently some kind of myth about flowers that's somewhat important. Supposedly, the founder of Higanbana was an old man who got lost in the mountains and almost died of thirst. The flower spirit came to him and offered him help in return to his father. He agreed, and she drained her son, all her water, so he could drink. The man founded Higanbana, watch over the meadow in which he met the flower. <laughs> in some versions of the myth, the man and the flower sphere spirits fell in love. It's a truly romantic festival. One may hope to find someone with, with which to make a vow of eternal love, just as the man and the spirit did. To live on to protect the woman. Jared winked. My swivel. <clears throat> so during the day of the flower festival, there's 
but there's a lot of stall Nikki stop. There's a lot of stalls set up. And you can go play games and eat food or go flower viewing. Then at night there's a special meadow over by the temple where you can go watch the flowers. There's a bonfire and dancing. It's a lot of fun. I look forward to it every year. Asagao sells paper flowers in a little booth to raise money for the school too. They usually big volunteer drive beforehand for people who are good at origami. Origami? I'm good at origami. Really? Really, Shane is too. Maybe you should work together. Shane gave, it, gave him a light, a tight-lipped smile. Somehow I didn't think that would be happening. Hey. Hey, speaking of, I swear, I swear Sparkles. you Sparkles. Hey, speaking of, I swear you rejected 10 girls last festival season. If you go on Spider's resource and you look up the model, like the sprites for Asagao, the sparkles, the sparkles are their own separate package. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's nothing compared to me, naturally, but there were so many girls with broken hearts. Even I couldn't remember. You still hung up on, on your English girlfriend? What? Shane flinched, visibly taken aback, and he shrugged. I don't talk to her anymore. <sighs> oh, Shane, I just want you to be happy, that's all. He whipped away the fake tear. Shane grimaced. <laughs> How great would it be if someone asked me, maybe even if one of the normal Boots guys did? No, I doubt that would ever happen. They're only letting me sit there because they physically assault me. <laughs> I sighed and cut my beefcake with a plastic knife. Hmm. So many girls in mind, fellas. Besides me, my shift in nervous like Her eyes kept flicking from Jared to her french fries. She looked like a child who stole several cookies. You take a cookie with a long skin mama. <laughs> Jared spread out his arms and raised an eyebrow. A god waiting for names to fall into his lap. <laughs> Uh... I'm thinking of going solo this year, to be honest. Yeah. Same. <laughs> man, you must... <laughs> you aren't much better, man. <laughs> I... I am on another level compared to you guys. I've already got my choice picked up. There was a quiet clattering next to me. I had dropped her fork. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you have. It'll probably be a new choice tomorrow. Jared flipped his hair with his hand. <laughs> you know me so well. Ah! Bitch! <laughs> There's only so much time to make so many different rules. They're in fucking high school, Ricky. Legal, that's legal sex age. I don't know the marriage age. <laughs> Get the hell out of here! <laughs> go on, go on. I must find the one who is most in me. <laughs> so it's not even about which one you like, huh? Nope. Wow. I didn't make fun. Just then, morning glory. I'm back in class. Everyone got up to toss the drinks and stood up, overwhelmed by the sudden burst of feeling. Mm. Thank you for letting me and my eat lunch with you today. I really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I was having a terrible day. You got cheered her right up. So, see you guys again tomorrow. Say goodbye. My children are in for bed. My also can't be home some time today. Ah, it's okay. I'll wave the hand for dismissal. Almost dropping his tray with the other. The cafeteria is really crowded, and we have our extra and we have extra room at our table. People are too afraid to sit with us or something. Well, we did kick a girl yesterday. <laughs> the three of them shrugged at the same time, and left the room moving in years and like a team of synchronized swimmers. Try to be the same person. Jared dumped his up. As soon as they were out of your shop, I took my hands in person, jumping up and down. <laughs> you did it, Hanamo! You just sat at the bottom of the table! I've been trying to do this for two years, and you did it in two days! She dropped her hands and made a joke. I think the game was crazy. Main characters have all the fun! Stop breaking the fourth wall! You'll be in pairs, painting a diorama or a paper mache lamp. 
connecting postmodern and write a paper on design. Or don't, that works too. But remember, this project will count for 10% of your final grade, so work hard. Sound good? The only response was, was bitter murmuring. Miss Shizuka often ended with sound, sound good, but she never cared about the answer. Alright, in the last few minutes of class, pick your partners and discuss your project plan. We'll continue next time. In a matter of seconds, almost all the desk in the classroom connected up to my but the girl, but a girl, Mimi Santos, already claimed her. My frowned at me as if to, to apologize. I scanned the classroom for a few other people I met, finding them already paired. I was going to be the only one without a partner. Suddenly, the edge of a desk collided with mine. Hey! Heebs. Guess what hurt me? PBG sat in front of me with a cheeky grin. Can you sit on the other side of the room? Get this desk over here. <laughs> I leaned over to look past him. He'd left a gaping hole and several collapsed students in his wake. <laughs> he practically walked through people. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Room, room. Room. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Seeing my gaze, he turned around. <gasps> oops. Oh, oops. Sorry. Oops. He waved sheepishly. A boy glared at him. Out of all the other designs, I like I like PPGs the most. I don't know. Uh, you, if you see caddies, you think it's cool. Uh, I, I like caddies. You'll like Kid Icarus. He's funny. This is before he had the mohawk. He has the, this is before he got the mohawk. And even then, he looks cool with the mohawk. He's actually one of the cool guys with the hawk. Well, for better or for or worse, we're partners. I guess we are. Sorry. Why are you apologizing? Ugh. Wait, no, that's not what I meant at all. You're super smart. I'm sorry you're stuck with me. Mm. You're pretty smart too, though, right? Not that I know. <laughs> I guess. But I hate schoolwork. I don't care about it at all. Right, that was right. that was the reason he actually dropped out. Really? Hey, it's cool. Did you ever go back? Nope. He just stopped and started doing peanut butter game. Really? Oh my god. What do you know? 10% of our grade depended on this project. Oh, not that I'm going to make you do it all. I may not like school, but I'm not going to let someone else fail just because I think it sucks. I haven't done something like that since I was a kid. The girl got so mad, and I learned my lesson. <laughs> he laughed, hitting the desk and crinkling his nose. I didn't see what was so funny, but from the way he was looking at me, it seemed like I should. He smiled hesitantly. He stopped laughing and frowned at me, the same way he did yesterday. Um... Do you like apple cider? Oh god, is that a beer or something? I don't know. I'm sorry. Or, uh... Well... Or what about magnolias? Uh... Yeah, I guess I do. You... Yes, do you? But... You... He sputtered out. He sputtered, opening and closing his mouth like he was trying to eat the air. I searched his face, wanting to help him out. He was clearly struggling. He was leaning forward, looking into my eyes like he was deciphering a code. Really forward. So close I could see a little brown flex in his eyes forward. What? Ibiju moved away, his, anxi his anxious face looking, look fading into a slight smile. Actually, don't worry. <clears throat> don't worry about it. I was brainstorming a subject for our piece, but you didn't have any, any strong reactions to anything, so I guess we won't be doing well with that. Like hell. The bell rang and the student, st student started packing up. Oh no, we didn't get to pick a project. <sighs> I'm sorry, it's my, that's my fault. I was messing around, but don't worry, I'll come up with something. Just leave it to me. He thumped his chest as he got out of his chair, striking a pose and giving me a wide, reassuring smile. He shuffled his desk back to his side of the room <laughs> as I packed my things away. I didn't understand what happened, but maybe it was better to forget about it. He didn't seem to want to explain. I left the classroom, thinking to wait for my... But instead, PBG trailed me into the hallway. He cleared his throat, and I returned. And I turned to face him. I tilted my head back in an uncomfortable degree. 
tall. He was scratching his neck, avoiding eye contact. <laughs> um. Right, <this> short. <laughs> so you know. So I know you said you were fine at lunch, but are you sure you're okay? I mean, you were really freaked out yesterday, so. Heat crept its way in my face. No, I'm all right. As long as you're fine, you need help with anything. You can rely on me. We're gonna check this again. Thirty minutes. It's okay. The other ones are probably gonna. Oh, there it is. Whew. Hopefully that didn't just show up. Especially since an uncertain look across his face again. <laughs> well, never mind. Are you heading back to, to the dorms? Um. Yes. Nice. Me too. We can go together. He pumped his fist into the air. I glanced into the classroom. I was still talking to Mimi. But it looked like she was about to rip the girl's head off. She wasn't yeah. going anywhere. Sure, let's go. But as we turned to leave the hall, we were interrupted by someone wearing a yellow and gray jacket. The Rival Club's jacket. My heart stopped. Standing before us was a tall man with cheekbones like no tomorrow. Oh, is that this, the cinnamon roll? Or is that something else? PB and... Um, that's Jeff. I think Space Hamster? I Wait, was he from PB and Jeff? Yeah. PB and Peanut Butter Gamer, Jeff. They're on the soccer team together, I think. I didn't recognize him from our class, which meant that he was one of the hidden block me other hidden block members. I didn't know whether I should scoff at him or ignore him, but before I could do anything, PBG held out his hand for a high five. Hey! Hey, Jeff! Jeff returned the gesture, gesture, and the two locked into a conversation. Hey, what's up? PBG, you pumped about the soccer match? It seems to be Jeff. Jeff. Yeah! Yeah, I've been waiting for this day all summer. Right on! Are you busy? I'm trying to get the team together right now for a last minute practice. You in? <laughs> I am so in. I have nothing to do for the rest of the day. All my. Are my cleats still in your locker? Yep. Awesome, let's go, man. Jeff briefly looked at me and pointed. Maybe you turn around, surprised I was still waiting. Hunter! Oh, Hunter! Sorry, I gotta go. See you in class tomorrow? I'll make sure to bring my thinking cap. He put on an invisible hat, then gave me a thumbs up. I like this. Ugh. Oh, wait. Do you want to come to our game? It's in a few weeks on the first one of the year. So it would be cool if you came to watch us. <laughs> Mostly me, because I'm the star player. Ugh. Wow, thanks. <laughs> Alright, what do you think we should do? Of course. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Yeah. That sounds really fun. I would love to come. <laughs> Ooh, thanks. That really means a lot to me. Usually the first game doesn't bring conjure a pretty crowd. Can I bring my? She might have planned on going anyways, but she was always including me in things, so I wanted to do the same for her. Yeah. Totally. Bring as many people as you want. Fill up the stands. He left with Jeff, and I headed back to the dorms. I usually walked with me. It felt weird to be alone, and I suddenly realized it would feel even weird to be in the dorm alone. Not knowing what else to do, I head for the library. Might as well get started on some homework. I stayed in the library much longer than I anticipated, head low over a small sheet of project ideas and a thick book. Thick. T-H-I-C-C. -C. Every time I thought about leaving, panic seized me. Truth was, I still didn't know my way around the academy. I had been there to guide me, and I was more focused on the people around me than the places. The students trickled past, laughing and heading off to no doubt have tons of fun. I fiddled with my pencil. I would have to leave eventually, though. Hesitantly, I closed my notebook and stood. Hey, Hana! How are you? I whirled around. Gerard was walking past me, a thick book in one Gerard. hand. Ah! Oh! Hi, um, I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> 
I laughed weakly and found myself wringing my hands. Yeah? C clearly didn't believe the word I was saying. <laughs> I'm recording together now. Do the same thing I was doing before. It's a good game! Dating. It's a dating simulator. It's a really good you game! You wouldn't understand it. A gaming simulator? Dating, no, dating simulator! simulator. So what do you do? Well, it's in the... What it's, do you... It's in chapter one right now. It's just introducing us to all the characters. Which are actual guys. From you on YouTube. In a group called Normal Boots. And can I see you? Or no. You see it's no. not talking, Angela, Mom. It's not Mom. an actual thing. And so what do you do? It's a dating story. It's just it <laughs> What do you do on a date? I don't know. <laughs> I just started the game maybe like ten minutes ago. I I haven't even seen it. This is the only scene. That's not true. You've been sitting in here for about an hour and a half with me. Well, th this is the only game player. Bye. Bye. Watch Watch the series. Watch me play it. <laughs> I sighed. Um. I'm a bit scared to leave. You know, I know that sounds pathetic. I don't really know my way around here, so... Yeah, you look a bit like a lost otter. A lost... Otter? He likes otters, doesn't he? Oh. He has a very funny collection, though. That he's trying to complete. Oh. But, hey, I haven't really gotten a chance to talk to you until now. I've been wanting to ask you if you're settling in all right. I know that transfer students don't really get introduced to the school in the same way freshmen do. Are your classes okay? How's your homework load? Do you like the food? Getting along with my? I shuddered, unsure of which question to answer first. Everything's fine. My is great, yeah. She showed me around the campus freak recently. It was very nice of her, but she wasn't very thorough. A grin slowly <laughs> spread across Gerard's face. As if he was unwrapping a present. You know what that means, right? No. He's gonna complete that campus tour. Because he's the completionist. Oh my <laughs> god. I can show you around. Do you like it? I used to give tours to incoming, incoming students. If you're new, you really should get a tour. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Gerard's eyes lit up at the mere mention of a tour. How bad turning him down. All right! Great, we can start at the boys' dorm. I need to put my books away. <laughs> he laughed and headed back to the library. I felt I fell into step alongside him. Has anyone told you we don't get many transfers? Hmm. It's been implied. I always wondered what new students think of everything right when they get here. I wish I could experience everything here for the first time again. Was your old school anything like this? Not at all. It feels more like a college, college campus because the dormitories. My old high school was just a big brick. Just like what to know. Gerard nodded. I thought you wanted... You wanted... I thought you wanted to say more. But there but there we were in front of the boys' dorm. He pulled open the door in front of me. And once inside, he held the open his hands. Oh yeah. This is Bluebell. This is Bluebell House. It's where the boys live. It's literally a carbon copy of the girls' dorm, except the walls are blue. And if you notice, they actually just turned or like flipped the image for the girls' dorm and then painted it blue. Feel free to walk around, but probably don't go into any rooms. I'm gonna go drop this off. I'll be right back. You race off this off to the stairwell, then took them two at a time. I kept the feeling he was rushing so as not so as not to make me wait any longer than I had to. And I smiled. It made me feel cared for. There wasn't much to look at, at or do while I was waiting though. I stepped into the side as not to block the door and stretched out my neck, listening to the sounds of an action movie from a room nearby. <laughs> Maybe I should wait outside. I head for the dormitory door, but I've when I reached to pull it open, diapers. The door swung open by itself, and two yellow-jacketed men stepped into the hall. 
I stared up at them in shock. They looked at me in the same way. Uh, um. Whoa, pink hair. That's unique. One to the right instantly called out my hair in a thick British accent. The other, probably the youngest student I've met so far, scanned me up and down. You're the girl who sat at the normal boots table today, aren't you? Y you could tell? Was my presence already so well known just from sitting at their table? I wasn't sure whether to be pleased or upset. The men in front of me were busy talking amongst themselves. Mm. Huh? I never thought they'd they'd entertain having a girl join them. Do you think it's because of the puzzle incident? Shane would would never be comfortable with someone joining up just like that, though. They hardly know her. There must be some reason she sat with them, though. <laughs> if they're planning a secret weapon, we should get back at them. <laughs> Excuse me? I shouted into the middle of them, shocking even myself. I wasn't usually so loud or forward. Close the door. But the way those two were bickering gave me the impression that if I didn't stop them, they'd keep going on forever. Mm. I'm right here. You can just ask me something if you're confused. Hey. Hey, you're right. So are you joining the Normal Boots Club then? What? Or j joining? Joining the Normal Boots Club never even crossed my mind. The possibility. All I was thinking about was getting in good with them. Getting on their good side, so that hopefully people wouldn't mess with me. Actually joining the club? Is that even possible? Now, weren't they gamers or something? I had almost no experience with video games. There's no way I'd be able to join. Seeing my crestfallen face, the young member backtracked. Um... Sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. Um, we're, we're members of the Hidden Block Club, and Norval Boots is our rival in tournaments. So you were just wondering. Greetings and salutations, my beautiful person. I'm Categorous. And this is Jimmy Wittell. You can call me Caddy for short, though. Everyone does. Everyone? Jimmy cast a knowing glance in Caddy's direction, and Caddy grimaced. <laughs> Almost everyone. <laughs> beautiful. Thank you. Don't mind him. He tells everyone that. Hmm. Because everybody is a beautiful person. Ouch. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, guys. Gerard skid skidded around the corner, panting. Don't you chuckle at me! I hear you chuckling! You're chuckling at me. I hear you chuckling at me. <laughs> Gerard skidded around the corner. Panting as if he ran the entire way. In fact, I didn't doubt that he had. I see you met Hana. She's a new friend of ours, so be nice to her, alright? What? Would we be would we ever be anything but nice? Yeah, whatever. Last year's tournament would beg to differ. <sighs> that was one time, and that was only because Shane ate my pizza. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Later, guys! Anyways, I don't want to keep you. I was giving Hana a tour of the campus since she's new here. Well, it was nice meeting you. I hope we see you, we'll see you around more. Bye! It was nice meeting you. Gerard waved the pair off as they climbed the staircase, then held the door open for me again. And we're off again! That's Zelia Arts Center. There's a recording booth and lots of spare rooms for club members for clubs to meet in. The theater's right next to it. It's where John holds the drama club and all, all his rehearsals. I think the student council elections are held there, and Jared has a special event at least once, at least once a semester. Last year was a martial arts ex exhibition, and Jared did kendo against other practitioners in the school. He shook his head in awe. See what I mean? He's truly talented. Really, all my friends are. I think I'm really lucky to have people like that around me. You're right. Oh, oh. oh Gerard. Huh? Yeah, I'm sorry. Did you have a question? No, no, that's all right. Great. Oh, there you can see a hug. I'm not gonna pronounce it. 
words peeking out, and the word peeking out in the distance. There's a field separating us, and people like to do here. Gerard seemed a cheerful guy. the thing the cat says. Reading some salutations might be full fast. Draw a team cheerful, grateful, down to earth kind of person. Well, he was really going out of his way to help me and kind to me. I didn't even seem to realize what the big what a big deal that was. <laughs> I giggled. Something told me I shouldn't point it out. Despite that, I was truly thankful. He took me places my did and more, describing several past events in an excruciating detail. It was a little much for a friendly tour, but having the names in all locations of the buildings burned into my mind was a good thing. <laughs> Don't totally suck at volleyball! Calling all itty bitty kitty collectors. We ended the tour back in Poppy Hall. After what seemed like hours of walking, Gerard was keen on finishing off the door with the best place on campus. <laughs> Ta-da! Here it is, the Normal Boots Club Room. Get! Those are itty bitty kitties. He pushed the door open and pointed inside. It looked like a regular room, uh, a regular room filled with desks and some kind of toys. It's not much, but it's home to some of my happiest memories. He shut the door again and dusted his hands. There's a little clo There's a little closet here people use to store things too. He reached to turn the handle, but paused and then retracted his hand. Is that a shutter I saw? Uh, Just a little tip. Knock before you open the door to any closet on campus. Really? Why? Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, ghosts, I guess. That was actually him knocking. Mark. That was a strange advice. Delivered strangely. Guard was uncomfortable. I wasn't sure what to make of it. Knocked, and a few seconds later, opened the door. What the hell? That is a YouTuber named Creeps Pasta. He does creepy pasta stories. What? The key mask. Someone was in the, was in that closet. I was not except expecting someone to be in that closet. Why was someone in the closet? Hey! I don't like that face. Hey. Gerard waved to the person, then closed the door, turning back to me. Ah! Oh! Sorry if he scared you. What? What? Anyways, that's, that's <laughs> it for the tour. How was it? He beamed. I hesitated, but seeing his eyes twitch, twitch slightly, I thought better than to bring it back up. It was awesome. Thank you so much. I learned a lot about the school and about you and your friends. It really made me feel included. <laughs> no problem. Not at all. I like helping out. Wish I had someone to show me around when I first got here. <laughs> you have no idea how long it took me to find all the secret tunnels and to make, and make a complete map of the camp of campus. Please, Miss. Ah! I hate it. Secret tunnels? Oh, absolutely! Yeah, oh man, I've got to show you. Dried glance at the clock hanging in the wall and winced. Oh. Oh, and I gotta get going. I have homework to do. But if, you're, but if you ever need more help, I'm here for you. You got a notebook and scribble something down. Then he ripped it out and gave it to me. Here. My phone number, door number, address, parents' phone number, email, Facebook, and Blipper information. Don't hesitate to ask me anything. See you later. I'll see you later, Hana. It was really great spending time with you. Now, hold on. Crying party. Oh, hey, I should go. And Hasegal High School. Kiss, kiss, cry on the floor. Kiss, kiss, fall in games. Ow! Just like that, it was gone. <laughs> I put the paper in my bag, chuckling softly to myself, then paused. I... I had to check. We were in front of the supply closet the whole time, and I had fought the urge to open the door after Gerard closed it. Now I was going to see who who was in there.
darkness. The light was off this time. I slid my hand across the wall, looking just... Uh, there was no one in the closet. What? What? Because he's a, he's a, he does creepy pasta stuff. And that's something that would happen at creepy pasta, right? I froze. Still as the paints and construction paper that lined the walls. It wasn't in here. And this was the only exit. I closed the door, blink hard, blinked hard, and walked straight back to my dorm room. Don't walk, run! Forget about it, just forget about it. That's terrifying. If that, if I was in that situation, you I would, would scream. You would look at the poster behind you. Kiss, kiss, cry on the floor. <laughs> I would probably bring a knife with me every day. <laughs> Ignoring just that you. last incident, Gerard truly went out of his way to show me he was thinking about me. In fact, I got the impression that he was this way for everyone. Everything. Yeah. He was thorough, very thorough. And when he wanted to help you, he did. Every, he did everything in his power to do so. Maybe it hadn't meant much to him, but it meant a lot to me. I returned to the dorm. I crawled into bed with a smile on my face, ready to take on the next day. Except that's where we're leaving it now, everybody. Hey, hey LMAO! <laughs> Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please fucking punch that subscribe button and great Ether the like button. And, uh, Nikki, you got anything to say? Who do you think we're going to meet next? Honestly, I think people are going to meet. All right. Well, okay. Thank you, everyone. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Nick's Ass 58 signing out.